All right, so in this one, we're going to grab web pages and using the expector of the browser, we're going to parse that data using array methods and convert it to arrays with JSON and Stringify so we can use it in our machine learning or data processing project. And also we're going to convert this in a CVS file, as you can see over here. So let's start. Here we have freemusic.org and we have a list of music, right? So what we want is to have this list in a CVS file or in a, an array so we can better use it in other applications. So what we're going to do is press F12 or go inspect here and we're going to select one of these rows and we're going to see that we have a div and the class names here. So one cool thing is that you can reference this element in the console by doing dollar sign and zero. And you can see that we have the selected element here. So how we go about selecting all of the songs here? We're going to create a variable called songs and we're going to use the document query selector or to select all the songs and put it in this variable. So we can put here element names, class names, and IDs. I think that's it. But now we're going to uh, select using the first class and see if we have all the items that we want. Okay. So as you can see, you can expand this and see if. So if, if you hover over this, you can see that it selects in the page. So we can see that we have 20 of the lists. Beautiful. Now we want to change this no list to an array to use the array method. Uh, so we can map this data and have it in a better way, right? So what we can do is in the later uh, versions of JavaScript, we can use the spread operator to convert this node list to an array. So what you can do is create an array, uh, put here the songs array. So this is going to evaluate here and assign it to the variable again. So now that we have our songs array, we're going to start by retrieving the information of that. To do that, we're going to go to the element here and see where the data is. And we can see that it is in the second child of the parent. Uh, we can expand this and we can see that there is four span elements that the data is in. So what you can do is go to songs. Let's create another variable that is going to go songs data. And we're going to grab the songs and use the map method. We're going to give it a function. This function is going to accept a single element, so a single song. And in this song, we're going to go to songs.children. And, and to better illustrate this, let's first do this. This is not going to do much, but we're going to go to songs. I'm going to grab the first one and call get the children. And we can see that. Uh, we have the children elements of this one. Okay, so what we can do is grab the second one and also call children of this. And as you can see, we have our data here. So going back to our map function, we're going to return implicitly here uh, the songs children uh, one. Then we're going to go children again uh, zero. And I think I need another one. And we're going to go inner text. I put here this one wrong it is supposed to be song okay so we have an array of arrays of the first element here that is uh the first data the artist name i'm going to repeat this for the other ones we're going to have four uh so we're going to go to this is the first one the second one is going to be one two three and that's it you go enter and you can see that we have here our arrays and our data. So how we can retrieve this now? So what we can do now is you see JSON functions. Uh, we're going to use the stringify function. Uh, we're going to pass the songs data. I'm going to have a string of our data here. So with the string and using, for example, Visual Studio Code, we go to a new file and we paste, <laughs> we paste our string is we need to copy it. So we copy it and what we can do now is here grab for example these two characters right here and replace this with the same but with an enter you need to press ctrl enter here and press all and we have our data ready to go here. So if we want to convert this again to an object we can use again json but this time we're going to use parse we're going to put in the variable songs json example and press enter so I, I change 
the first code for an special code of JavaScript. And this is the one that you use to put um, variables in the string. But this time we are using it because we have a little bit with, with the double quotes and the single quote. So this is going to work this. Okay. So how we can do now to have this data in a CVS form. So for that, we're going to use the reducer function to reduce this data to a single string that is in the format of a CVS file. So we're going to grab and uh, put the songs in a CVS and we're going to grab songs. Either one uh, works because they're same. Reduce, okay. So we're going to give it the function and an initial state for now this function is going to return nothing. An initial value of the comma separate values of the CVS file is going to be the artist and we're going to grab it for here, right? The track. So we have here our four headers. The first, the initial state of the producer function, we're going to have in the function, the accumulator and the current value. And what we're going to do is grab the accumulator that's going to start in the initial value. And we're going to add that to the accumulator. We're going to add a new string. We're going to use the special JavaScript codes. We're going to use dollar sign and curl braces and grab the first value here, current zero. I'm going to put a comma here. And in the first part of the string, we're going to put these two characters here that signifies an enter. And now we can copy this and carry it over four times. So we're, we delete this one and now we hit enter. And as you can see, we have here a string. Now we can do with this string is copy it, right? Copy this string and we go to, for example, BS code. And we're going to replace the character here for an enter and to hit shift enter to do this. And we have here our comma separate values. Uh, we need to remove the, the string quote and that's it. So now another example is this one that we have a little bit of a form, but you can see that it's going a little bit, not that structure. So we're going to start with this one. First of all, we're going to clear the console. I'm going to start. So you're going to have our JK uh, variable here, you can use document query selector all yeah, here. And this time we're going to go article dot joke cross code enter. And we have here our list of notes. We're going to go a little bit faster here because we did go slow in the first one. We're going to spread that into another variable here, JK. So the dot, dot JK. So we have our right here. We're going to put the data in a new variable called data, the gay data. So JK array, the map. And now this is going to look a little bit uh, worse because we need to go hunting for this data now, okay? So data is a lot in, in the tree of um, the elements here. So we can, we need to hunt for it more or less, right? So you're going to use the first trick that we learned. You're going to grab the zero element we're going to go children. We can see that we have a single children. It might be better to grab that one instead of the article, but we're doing this way. And we go children again, and we see that we have we have the header that we need because it's the title of the joke and the content of the joke. So we have this one is the title of the joke, and this one is going to be the content that is going to be in the first one, not the second one. And that's it, we have our two like routes. We go to the map function again, I'm going to go current joke, I'm going to return an array with current, and the title was this one, so we grab this, and it should be the same. I'm going to go current, and grab this one, it's going to be the body of the joke, hint enter, and we have a trouble here. What's the trouble? <laughs> I found the error here is that, so because we selected all the articles, some articles are not jokes and doesn't have the body, but it has 
like a children. So we are selecting one that we don't want, but luckily we can showcase a little cool thing about JavaScript. It's called optional channeling. So if we don't have this property, you're going to skip it and don't put it as an undefined. So when is, for example, here, when it doesn't find it, it puts an undefined. To finish this section, we're going to use another array method that is called a filter. So we're going to filter those that doesn't have a second value. So uh, we have here our filter and what we can do is grab the current one and say, if the current one second value is not equal to undefined, we go enter and we can see that we don't have the, those two that didn't have data. Okay, so the rest is the same as the other one. All right, last one of the video is going to be a little bit of a quick one. So we're going to grab all the images of Google Images here. One trick that we can do is use the app page, grab a bunch of images here and go in the console. I'm going to go docs, document, you know the drill by now. We're going to select the image now. So we have all the images here of the docs and we're going to extract now the source of the image and put it in the array. So let's do that. So dogs source dogs the map going to dog uh, dog that source and I forgot to convert it to an array. So dogs source is going to be an array. Use the spread operator here of dogs. Now we can use again dog source to map it and we're going to have all the images these are encoder um these are encoded in uh data base 64 so uh on a link let's see if this works so we can see that it is working so and that's it the rest is pretty simple uh one trick here if you want to parse um google images is that the first i think the first two are the logos of your account so make sure to extract those the rest are images so so that's about it let me know if you like it and if you do consider giving it a like that will help a lot and subscribe if you like the content and that's it